Hello and welcome to The New Creationist. I'm Eugene. Today we're going to be looking at pericentric inversions as evidence for creation. First of all, we need to consider what does the biblical creation account teach us. Well, it actually teaches us quite a few things. Today we're going to be looking at two things specifically. Uh, the first is that um, all humans descended from the original mating pair, which were Adam and Eve, and therefore, of course, all humanity shares a common ancestor. Also, uh, the biblical creation account teaches that humans have a unique ancestry uh, to that of other species, um, such that there is no common ancestor between humans and other animals. Uh, we're going to be looking more specifically at humans and chimpanzees as we compare the genomes and chromosomal structure and specifically more about paracentric inversions. Uh, of course the first question that you may um, that, that you may think is what is a paracentric inversion? Well a paracentric inversion is uh, what occurs when a chromosome suffers two breaks, one on either side of the centromere. Um, when it's repaired by the cellular repair mechanisms, the sections around the centromere is put back backwards um, so that the center uh, section becomes inverted. And here we have a diagram. I actually just, just drew this diagram up in order to show you uh, what happens. So um, if you have uh, two breaks in the uh, chromosome, and those two breaks are on either side of the centromere and then when it's put back together uh, you have uh, what used to be on the long arm of the chromosome is now on the short arm and what used to be on the short arm of the chromosome is now on the long arm of the chromosome well um, an inversion loop can um, cause unbalanced gametes uh, due to deletions and duplications and also causes gene rearrangements so that um, you have problems uh, with uh, reproduction um, at least later on when an individual with a chromosomal inversion um, tries to reproduce some of the gametes that would be produced by a uh, inversion loop due to a um, pericentric inversion. Of course, you can have a normal chromosome. You can have a chromosome with deletions, so this one will be shorter. You can have the uh, inverted chromosome produced as a gamete, and you can have a chromosome with duplications. Paracentric inversions actually pose a substantial barrier to common descent because of the strong association with infertility, sterility, cancer, spontaneous abortions or, or miscarriages, birth defects, and genetic disease. Uh, and we're going to go over a few examples starting with chromosome 1. Uh, and here's a study that shows uh, paracentric conversions in human chromosome 1 and uh, the risk of, for ma male sterility. Um, of course when you go to look at a comparative, comparative analysis uh, between uh, humans and chimpanzees you see just such a chromosomal inversion, paracentric conversion um, between them. We're going to look at another one. Here's a study for paracentric inversion of chromosome 4 as a cause of recurrent pregnancy loss. And of course, when we look at a comparison between human and chimpanzee, we see a substantial paracentric inversion on chromosome 4. Here's another one for a paracentric inversion of chromosome 5. A possible threat to male fertility. 
And of course, again, when we compare the human and chimpanzee genomes for chromosome 5, we see a substantial uh, paracentric conversion on chromosome 5. Here is another study, association of paracentric conversions of chromosome 9 and reproductive failure in 10 unrelated families. And here's a list of, from another study of the problems or clinical features in children with uh, paracentric conversion on chromosome 9. And of course, when you go to compare humans with chimpanzees, you see a, actually it's a small inversion on chromosome 9, um, which is very similar to the types of inversions we see within the human genome and the problems associated with that particular inversion. Um, here's um, another study, uh, chromosome inversions of chromosome 12 in human malignancies. Here's a study discussing the problems of paracentric inversions of chromosome 12 in two families. Here's another study with paracentric inversions of chromosome 12 associated with idiopathic azoospermia in one infertile to, um, Tunisian male. And of course, when you compare the human and chimpanzee genomes, um, chromosome 12, you see a substantial comparative inversion. Now, familiar, familial Miller uh, Deeker syndrome associated with paracentric inversion of chromosome 17. And when you compare the human chromosome 17 with the homologous chimpanzee chromosome 17, you see a substantial inversion, uh, a paracentric inversion. So in comparisons between humans and chimp chromosomes, we see several paracentric conversions comparatively, nine altogether. And these inversions present a substantial barrier to common descent. Because of the strong association of paracentric paracentric conversions with sterility, birth defects, spontaneous abortions, genetic disease, and cancer, this evidence strongly suggests that humans and chimps share no common ancestor, but rather have a distinctly unique ancestry, just as bi biblical creation teaches.